Greetings and salutations, folks. I'm Josh from Lazy Acres. Thank you for tuning in. We are saving the world here one trailer at a time today. We're going to take a look at a 2015 Jayco Eagle Premier, model number 331RK, R, sorry, 331RKTS, weighing 12,300 pounds. It's got a rear kitchen with opposing slides on the backside, nice island in the middle of it, big long couch, theater seat, bed slide up front, very, very high end features here. And I'm here with my friend, that international man of mystery, William Sir Candy on the camera today. Say hello, William. What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the number one RV YouTube channel in the world here. Uh, like Josh said, really nice high-end used fifth wheel piece here. A couple good extras um, and great floor plan. It looks to be in great shape. Let's check it out. Oh, sorry. Like and subscribe to the YouTube channel, Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, and all that stuff. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy this day. Right on, William. Yeah, so... Uh a few key features here are we have dual pane windows, slide toppers, also the gas generator prepping through there. The front cap looks really great. You know, what is this, uh, seven, eight year old trailer? Looks sharpened through there, it's painted. It's gonna look good forever, it's very, very nice. We got some nice eyebrow lights, uh, LED ones built in here. More ride pin boxes. In my opinion, it's the best pin box on the market. It shifts three inches front to back, kind of eliminating that chucking for you. Down below here, we've got a rougher style storage. So we can put a generator here, we can store rougher style things. We've got the onboard gas um, gas tank for that generator and then space right there for a battery in a box. And then as you come around the side, you notice we have uh, two 30 pound per pain tanks sliding out on a tray, which is pretty convenient. We've got a drop frame in through here, which gives us tons of storage in our pass through. Manual cord reel. We've also got our electric auto leveling controls right through there. And then, yeah, great pass through storage in here. Previous customer add on this paper towel holder. Nicely done. Outside shower, soap dispenser, city water connection, black water flush kit. And then you can winterize and sanitize, bypass the water heater all through there with your gate valves. It's got a 10 gallon gas electric water heater, furnace vent, and then your sewer drain itself is down through there. We have a Schwintech style slide on our bedroom style, on our bedroom slide, and then two rack and pinion style slides on our main floor. And then right here's your fridge vent. <clears throat> As we wrap around the back side in through here, 50 amp. Detachable style cord. There's a roof ladder. Get up on your roof, check your seals every 90 days. In the rougher style storage, you wouldn't notice like a barbecue. That's actually meant to fit on this bracket right here. There's a gas fitting down there as well. And then here on the door side, we've got big door side windows facing our campsite. We have a secondary awning off of our main slide. Both awnings have lights on them, like the LED lights. Four step entrance up and in right through here. Lend a hand grab handle, outside speakers. You know, you got a screen door, all that kind of stuff too. The other side of our pass through. And then I kind of mentioned the battery going in that front storage. That doesn't make a lot of sense, Josh, when you have the battery going in through here. Outside receptacle, full length awning coverage, great high end fifth wheel here. Let's take a look at this guy inside. Right on folks, we're inside that 331 RKTS rear kitchen triple slide. Looking back here through the living room into our kitchen space itself. I like how the sink is here at the back where we still have this big island or medium sized island as you say that you can just use for prep space, cutting, dishing out stuff. In the island we've got some drawers, we've got some cupboard space here down below, alright, nice stuff. And then behind me we've got our built in pantry, okay, actually adjustable shelves in here, LED light in through there, and this is the 12 cubic foot gas electric fridge. You don't see that anymore on the new stuff. Big drawer down below. And then behind me, we've got a convection microwave. Bingo bango. We've got some cupboard space here all the way across the top. Fantastic fan right above me. Rain sensitive too, so that will shut down if you, uh, if you have rain coming in that vent. Nice window here at the back, so if you're doing dishes, you can actually look outside, which is great. Spice rack through here. And this is all solid surface. And, and not to be funny, but this is really nice solid surface in through here, eh? Yeah. Nice gloss on it. Nice trim piece down below or the you know the, the accent board there, whatever you want to call that. Big drawers here, Willie. Some huge drawers. Thank you for chiming in, brother. <laughs> Covered space there. Three burner stove top oven. And then one more huge drawer down in through there. Now into our kitchen or our pardon me, our dinette. 
Um, you know, we have a couple little marks here on the tabletop, but overall pretty good condition on the interior here. Four chairs, windows here facing our door side. This piece of furniture has been changed. Like it wasn't a factory piece. It's a uh, like an aftermarket theater seat in through here. Uh, looks to be uh, lights in through there, stuff like that, but whatever, you can play with that. And then covered space here across the top. And then our main entrance is here. We can easily get to our bathroom, get to all our controls for everything. And then your TV is here. Um, we must be on an arm of some kind. Yep, arm in through there. We've got shelving in through here. Nice mantle spot, drawer cupboards and then a bunch more cupboards here across the top with our DVD player slash radio hidden in through there. Now here's our main couch. We have, uh, this is this is kind of a little backwards. This piece here is actually supposed to be in the middle and this is supposed to be shoved down. It all just does come apart there so that'll be fixed up but uh, they may have done that for a reason. Maybe they he liked to have, or she, he, she, liked to have his head there, his feet up here. Well, what do you think? Yeah, that's logical. That's the only the, reason I can think that. Yeah, yeah, me too, yeah. Covered space here across there. And then again, nice windows here in the slide. Let's head upstairs into the bathroom. Feeling good with the living space, Willie? Yeah? Yeah, yeah this is sweet. It is sweet. Oh, the, the lights on for you. That's okay. We got to sleep at the wheel here on Monday morning. It's all right. Porcelain toilet here. The dump truck fits. Nicely closed off. Linen closet in through here. We've got another fantastic fan above us. And then... Uh, like a double medicine cabinet, one on either side of the bathroom. <clears throat> nice big sink, and then two more covers here down below. And then into our shower itself, we got seamless fiberglass shower, glass shower doors, good height in through here. I should mention there's a natural arch to the roof, which makes this trailer feel even bigger than it is. Um, the Eagle Premier has actually been renamed now, Will, the North Point, right? So that's what we sell nowadays. But uh, they just kind of made that change. There used to be Eagle and Eagle Premier. Now there's just Eagle and North Point. Um, we have uh, windows on both sides. Nice headboard. Lights there above. And then we're going to have a wardrobe here at the front. Two bars in through here. Shelving. And some lights. And there's some more shelving over there on the left. Man, this is huge. That's a big closet for sure. Oh, Will's right inside the closet. <laughs> you can stay, almost stand up in here, man. Well, you're four foot two, so yeah, it makes sense. But anyways, coming out of the closet now, we'll try to focus, buddy. We got our laundry right in through here, so these shelves would come out if you want to do that. And then you can put a stackable laundry, or it's used for great storage, however you want to do that. Nice window here in the door side. Bedroom TV with a Seiko. Sakyo. <laughs> I was going to say Seiko, but that's Sakyo. Um, <laughs> Never heard that one before. <laughs> What do you mean, man? I've got that in my uh, in my uh, my billiards room. Um, nice drawers in through there. Big king size bed, and they definitely upgraded the mattress. Nice mattress for sure. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Hit us up on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. Leave us a comment down below. Have yourself a good day.